Hi, this is Patrick Mack reporting with HotelNewsNow.com. I'm here at the AH and LA Hospitality Leadership Forum being held in conjunction with the International Hotel, Motel and Restaurant Show at the Javits Center in New York. I just got out of a great panel with some uh, industry experts talking about what's going on in the industry and I wanted to go over five quick points off the top of my head. The first thing, great news for hoteliers, demand is going up across the board. Um, the only debate right now is what's driving those demand increases and what's driving recovery. Mark Lomano of STR has said that business is going to be the game changer, whereas Doug Shiflett of DK Shiflett is arguing that it's leisure that's going to be driving recovery and the industry for years to come. The second point, if we're talking about demand, we've got to talk about ADR. Uh, this past year, recovery has been primary, primarily an occupancy-led affair. Next year, you could expect ADR to pick back up. Uh, that being said, hoteliers have no excuse not to start pushing those incremental rate increases. Uh, Mark Lomano of STR said that if you're just following the pack right now, your hotel is going to perform like the rest of the pack. So you need to be an outlier and start driving rates. Regarding those rate increases, a lot of hoteliers say that they can't push rates because they're held hostage by OTAs. Doug Shiflett brought up a really interesting point though. He said that guests who book on a brand website have much higher satisfaction scores than guests who book through an OTA. So it's something to consider and hopefully you can leverage going forward. Fourth, we're talking about brands, but how important are they anymore in this commoditized world? I asked Peter Yesowich that of Wide Partnership. He said that while brands still are important, they don't have the influence over guest booking behaviors as they once did. What's really driving those decisions right now is unfortunately things like price. Another interesting thing is whether or not the hotel includes free internet. That and some other elements are driving guest and consumer patterns more so than brands used to in the past. Last but not least, how important are loyalty programs? Across the board, the panelists agreed that loyalty programs are still a necessity, although they might not be as influential in booking decisions as they have been in the past. Right now, a lot of hoteliers are using loyalty programs not as a point of differentiation, but as a way to engage and outreach and communicate with the guest, which is proving beneficial in a lot of cases. So those are five quick points from the panel I just stepped out of, reporting live from the AHNLA Hospitality Leadership Forum. This is Patrick Mayock from HotelNewsNow.com.